they started from the east side and then the 51 they came to Lhasa. Uh-huh. That's the level. Uh-huh. So then at that time, 1951, Dalai Lama at that time uh, give message to all over Tibet saying like don't fight with Chinese, be friendly, be, be make a friend, leave, no fighting. And because of that, what happened, then the Chinese got a chance, time to spread all, all, all around the Tibet. Mm -hmm. Because the, the Dalai Lama said no war, no fight, and be friendly with Chinese people. And the Chinese people got more opportunity to cover up the land mm -hmm. instead of fighting now. Uh-huh. Then you make it kind of... 1941, 51 to 52, 53, 54, 54, like a few years. Uh, majority of Tibetans don't like Chinese, and there are minority who likes Chinese. So there was some sort of always having some problem communicating and sometimes small, small fighting, sometimes small, small like killing each other, <coughs> but not real war. Then the guerrilla fighters, one uh, group formed, and the name of the group is called Chu Shi Kang Tru. Chu Shi means the biggest four rivers in Tibet. Mm -hmm. Chu is a water, Shi means four. Mm -hmm. And then Kangri, Chushi uh, Kangtu, there's a six very important mountains in Tibet. So, so it means that include all Tibet. So they, na they, they found a name called Chushi Kangtu, four rivers, six ranges. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in 1959, uh, on the third month of the year, January, March, so Dalai Lama was invited to China for a special parties or something named like that. The Tibetan people refused, saying like Dalai Lama, don't go. So then they make us, uh, uh, people gather all around Potara, mm -hmm. saying like, we don't want him to let go because they will definitely cheat against Chinese. It's not a party, they won't kill mm -hmm. or something. So, so many different things talk, talking mm. coming on. Mm. So he was in during the winter time in Nurbulinga and Chinese already surrounded his palace, the winter palace. Mm -hmm. And anyhow, he managed uh, with himself and one of his uh, like a security guard or something, two person only, they escape. Even there's a tight uh, Chinese uh, security mm -hmm. outside. So they escape, they went to, uh, to the uh, way to India, India side. So from Lhasa to India, to reach India by walking, so it takes a little less than a month. Just traveling by food and yeah. by horse. Mm -hmm. Back. At that time, he was also in that group who was caught, Dalai mm -hmm. Lama, and then went back to China to fight again. Me, Manga, the Pegas, said that I want to say, my daughter, I am to tell you something. Tagal, 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 So then, when he returned back to in Tibet and then fought with the uh, Chinese, he's hitting maybe three, four times fighting. And then it was almost like a full of Chinese in Tibet, Potala especially. Mm. So there's no way <coughs> fighting and winning mm, mm. the country. Mm. So then these few guerrillas now decided better escape. Yeah. They will also kill now. So many already killed. So now there's no possibility winning. So then he again went back to the way where he went before with Dalai Lama. And in India, Sikkim, Sikkim you know, so in India, in Sikkim, the government gave, uh, Indian government gave job. Uh, for the guerrillas to make a con uh, road, mm -hmm. vital road. So they, he <coughs> said they work one year complete for making road only. Mm -hmm. Then after one year complete finishing the making road, again they thought like, maybe try one from Nepal side, maybe, Mustang. So now they again make a plan from India to come to Nepal and go up to Mustang, and from Mustang we fight again. Who knows, maybe we win. Uh. So they still hope and the anger still exists there.
And can she tell us how she escaped, what it was like to leave Tibet and flee the Chinese? I would like to know her particular story of how she got here. Yeah, uh, when she came, you know, uh, she ha she ha she works with some uh, cat cattle, you know, mm -hmm. animals and all the things when she came from Chita. And in the way, you know, they, uh, you know it happens like a big snow, you know. Right. Is, yeah, because of that, you know, every cattle and all the scared, everyone died. Everything died. Die. Yeah. And because of that, you know, she left with empty hands at that time. And she stayed two, uh, two nights in this. Uh, she stayed in us uh, one year in Nath, in yeah. one place in India. Uh, yeah. This is in Tibet? No, Nath? Between Nepal and Tibet. Ah, okay. Yeah, Nath, no. And then, how did she end up here? Here? Yeah. And uh, when she came from Tibet, you know, there's only three family like her and her husband, and there's one boy. And yeah, this tree. But uh, how they how she came here was like um, uh, there is a one war, you know, during these Chushi Kangdomans are all Tibetan army. Mm -hmm. and they used to fight. Mm -hmm. So they fired, and because of that, you know, they came here. And this uh, her husband, you know, she, he died during that area. During that time, mm -hmm. so during that time, you know, her husband died. And she came with her boy. Mm, okay. They go back to the gate. Then you come to the gun to get turn on my lady. It is the Yapore. It is all at the song. She is here. Yes, you can do my talking. No, when she when she was here first time, no. At that time, uh, the house was already already made, already uh, like uh, made for them. You know, there is some. Like uh, Tibetan is already there, you know, they are saying like, now we are saying Tibetan, you know, there is an empty house, you know, you can stay here, you know, they are saying like, you can stay here. And she stayed here and at that time, you know, she's with her uh, girl and boy. The girl was seven or eight years, you know, she was like, and she used to go uh, in factory, you know, like garbage factory, you know, she used to weave out this wool, you know. Um, she did. No, yeah. her, the daughter. Her daughter uh -huh. yeah. She has to spin all this. Hmm. And she, you know, uh, she's like uh, making carpet, you know, at that time. 